So earlier this year, Arduino vs. Evil sent me some of this Nichrome wire. I believe it's for TIG welding. It's Haynes 625. I think that's the product name. Or maybe it's the AMS, no, AMS 5837. Either way, the, there's two numbers that will probably bring you to what this wire is. He said that it can withstand temperature quite a bit and it's resistive. So, I think it'll make a very good he heating element for an electric kiln. I have this wire kind of bent up. So it's a little more compact, have, and, I'll, and I'm going to try to power it with my welder. I have the grounding clamp there. Probably start out with 10 amps. You know what, actually I'll try 30. 30 amps. And then whenever I turn it on, I'll just cross this bare welding rod over to the coil, and that should turn bright red. Might have to up the amperage though. I hope it doesn't burn up. Only one way to find out though. Wow, 30 amps was a bit much. So let's go ahead and down to 10. 10 amps. Now we're trying 15 amps. Arduino vs. Evil, you were definitely right whenever you said these wires make a great heating element. And at only 15 amps of power, that's not bad at all. That's, that's the second to weakest setting on my welder. So this probably wouldn't take that much energy. So I could probably let, let it run for like 15 minutes if I make a little kiln from it. I'm wanting to make a little itty bitty kiln so I can fire some crucibles I'm wanting to make. I'm going to be making them out of clay. And this actually might be a better, better way to melt and cast metal than an arc furnace. Just because 15 amps is a lot better than 60 amps. And this would be a very more ambient temperature than the arc furnace would be making a very pinpointed, extremely high temperature heat. Well, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!